2021 Scamp. It's 13 foot. Uh, we got this kind of very luckily because uh, we got put on the waiting list at Scamp and somebody canceled and so we gobbled it right up. There's about a 12 month wait if you want to have a brand new one and they're almost impossible to find used. And we needed to get out of here because we've been stuck at home since March due to COVID. We've taken it out one time with our family of four and that was an adventure. So we're getting ready to take it out some more. Um, so this is just a brief tour. First of all, the front, this is the 24 battery and uh, we don't know if that's gonna be enough <laughs> for us. We got the solar kit to go with it. So hopefully we can find someplace sunny. It has a um, outdoor shower and we've obviously not tried this because it's winter. So it's very cute outdoor shower. I guess we're gonna have to get naked in public. Um, and outlets on the back. This one also has extra lights. Uh, if you're gonna tow something, they come with a tow hitch now. So if you're towing bikes, cars can still see your lights. This is your cable hookup, because nothing says camping like cable. And um, this is the power, the plug. The scamp also comes with a screen door keep the bugs out wherever you're at and still get all the air in. And then this combined with the fan, it's like air conditioning. We've also got a cute little window on there. And the door hook, which I thought was a beer can opener, beer bottle opener. And this also came with, what's this called? Awning. An awning. Let's try that again. <laughs> this also came with an awning and it's like out to here and it's an awning so it awns the 2021 comes with lots of extras that they hadn't added before there's a turn for the electricity so you can cut the battery so you're not wasting any if you're driving or whatever um, ours came with the cooktop the sink that's got the um, electric pump um, a water heater that's both electric and gas propane um, this refrigerator, which is so cute, it comes with a little lock. So when you're driving down the road, your taco fixins don't fall out all over the floor. Um, we've got a furnace, a little cabinet down here for your dishes and whatnot. We've got a little storage down here. This is supposedly where you can put your portable toilet. Right now it's storing the poles for the bunk beds. Which I'll show you in a second. There's additional storage under the sofa on both sides so you can put your odds and ends in there. We've got some storage in here which we're just using for cleaning supplies currently because COVID. There's some storage up here, up here, some storage up here above the little bed area and some storage up here. I found these and stuck them everywhere. So we've got little hooks everywhere now too. This is not storage under here. If you don't have all the bells and whistles that this one has, this would be excellent storage. Right now it's got the hot water heater. So that's what it looks like. Um, it looks kind of chintzy, but they have to use the lightest materials possible. I think the overall weight of this scamp is like, 1700 pounds, which is extremely light for an RV that can sleep four people and also has a pretty much a, a working kitchen in it. And this also would be storage space if you didn't have an outdoor shower. So this is the water tank I'm assuming that goes to the outdoor shower since it's located right there. And the water pump, um, I could be wrong, but that looks like some kind of water tank. So um, I've seen videos of some where if you don't have a bunch of stuff like the gray water and the um, the pump and stuff, that's extra storage. So personally, when we're camping, we don't need a lot of stuff. We need everything that's in this room and we just store the blankets in here as we're driving. So, and to be honest, we haven't even used this as a table because you can eat outside or you can eat in your bed. So you can, life can be as easy as you want it to be. Additionally, there is in this one, a TV package which we again would have never purchased. And it comes with an antenna that's like got better reception than in our house. 
and the TV is over there. It's got a DVD player built into it. Ours came with an air conditioner. I'm pretty sure this air conditioner could condition our entire house. Uh, it's like massive. And then a fan. That's probably what we'll end up using the most. And these shades, which I find a little easier to use than the curtains that the other ones have had. The 2021 also comes with two charging stations. You've got your USB and your car outlet. Um, so those were really handy. There's the water pump on and off. Uh, most of them don't have the electric one, so this one's kind of nice. The thermostat is right here, which makes the, using the furnace easy. And then there's two outlets that only work if you're hooked up to like house or RV hookups, but um, they're still really nice to have. I found that almost everything essential can work off of just the battery. So as long as you've got a way to charge the battery, which of course charges while you're driving, um, then you should have plenty of ability to have whatever you need. I'm gonna show you how to take the sofa, which is cozy, to bunk beds. Move this up, shove that back down, grab one of your poles, there's a little screw in here that it hooks into on both sides. And then you take this little nugget and it shoves back there. And it's pretty cozy. Now I'm going to take this lovely double-sized bed, which we discovered a six-foot-three person uncomfortably sleeps in. We are going to turn this into the dining table, which will give a lot more room. So, you just take some puzzle pieces out, set them to the side. This little guy comes out, and we just put him up here for now. Probably throw it in the car. And then you lift your table. And there's these little hooks that it stinks into and then you pull the leg down and adjust your other cushions and boom dining room table the 2021 also comes with a gas and carbon monoxide tester which is new and also a battery indicator which is also new this one comes with outdoor lights they're led so they should last a while on the side and the front on the inside there's quite a few lights i don't know if these come standard but they're in here so there's that one there's one over here <coughs> over here and over here so you can just light up your life oh another one over there that's about it. It's a tiny little room, but when you want to get out of here and you don't want to have to have a truck to pull your RV or your trailer, uh, this is just about the only one that a Subaru can pull. If you're thinking about getting one, I would do it in a heartbeat.